Yo, what up, what up, what up? There's your boy King Series straight from Busy Home Beat. Yes, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make sure that um your vocals uh, mix or fit together with the beat. I mean, they sit properly in the beat. You get it? So that's what we're actually going to learn today in our today uh, tutorial. But if you are new to the channel, if not yet subscribed, please subscribe to support your boy. Like and also comment to this video. And trust me, your time will never be wasted. We do learn a whole lot of mixing and making a beat and a whole lot of everything about music on this channel. Okay, so without wasting my time, let's just get into the video. There's a song which I did record. It is I did recorded it myself. I mean, it's my own song. Yes, the vocals, the beat, and everything here was actually um, done by me. Yes. So I want you to listen to this some part of the song. Um, it's a rap song, not Afrobeat or anything. It's a rap song. So we listen to some part of the song. Then after that, I just go through the process for you, explain certain things to you, so that whenever you are mixing your song, you know how to make sure that your vocals is actually balancing with your beat. Your beat is not louder than your vocals. So your vocals is not louder than your beat. But actually, they are balancing. Okay. So let's listen to some part. Okay. Massa me pride, send me to a boys in your strike. Pon come in here, but you mini car, no be better I'm a swatch to their white. No respect at all. Talking about rappers, first of all. Why in the mama rap title? I'm a mother who compared to Pat Shako. King series be the best of all. This is with the JT, M and M Kendrick sack. Now with the air time see more. This guy so sick, oh my god. Epilepsy rappers who own be the flop. Massa me pride, send me to a boys in your strike. Pon come in here, but you could be mini car, no be better I'm a swatch to their white. No respect at Talk, talking about rappers, first of all, why the man will rap title? I'm a mother who compared to Pat Shako. King series be the best of all. This is with the JT, Eminem, Kendrick, Sack. Now with the time, say more. Very nice rap, very nice flow, and a very nice mix. Okay, so let's listen to the raw vocals with without the beat. So the raw vocals without the beat. And this is how it sound raw, raw, nothing is on it. Massa me pride, send me to me to your boys, Nina strike. Pon come in here, but you come in mini car, no, be better. I'm a swatch to their white, no respect at all. Talking about rappers, first of all, why in the man will rap title? I'm a mother who compared to Pak Shako, King Series be the best of all. Just with the Jay Z, Eminem, Kendrick, Sack. Now with the air time, say more. This guy's so sick, oh my god. So you can actually hear the way it sound. Uh, Obviously, the vocals have been recorded nicely. Yes, I seen the waves here are not blasting. You get it? Yes, the volume level is actually okay for us. You can hear and it sounds okay. Yes, the mic is actually clean too. Um, you know, whenever you are making a song, I, I've always told you that. Um, I've always told you that. Um, your equipment matters too. Yes, your equipment matters. So you have if you are not investing your money in those equipment and you think you can use any anything to do with then please it's just a waste of time for you you are just not just a waste of time but i mean um you know you wouldn't be getting what you actually want to get you get it yes because whenever you are cooking a food and your ingredient or the full star that you are using are spot or are not good enough there's no way you can there's no way you can actually cook it to your taste you get it but if they are nice and they are good enough then you can actually get what you are looking for so try and invest the little amount of money you get into the equipment okay so if you listen to the beat alone without anything so that's how the beat also goes the truth is there's a whole lot of things going through the beat you get it i played a lot of melodies if, if i'm playing the whole the whole beat for you you can see some part a whole lot of things ha have been happening so you just have to be pushing them back uh, the melodies back with if you are mixing everything from the uh, scratch i'm telling you all this um you have to be pushing those melodies back with your reverb and your yes your reverb and using your gain staging volumes to bring so that the drums can actually um come forward and be mixing with your vocals you get it yes so for you to be able to make sure that your vocals is sitting properly uh, with the beat um, the drum is always the groove of the song if it's an afrobeat or rap song or like this we know you like to vibe with the drums more than um the melodies you have so with this the first thing i did here is you shouldn't consider uh, the processing too much just understand certain things that i'm going to see over here um i put the gate here and the gate what the gate is doing just blocking those background uh, noises 
although i recorded it in the boot with an acoustic treatment in the boot but i still put this thing on it just for uh, anything that maybe i might not hear or something like that yes so that's what the gate is actually doing and this is how i did eq it i did eq stay tuned and i'm going to show you how you you actually have to make sure that this vocal set properly together with the beat okay so this is how i did eq it this is the eq only one eq i call the low ends around 115 and make sure i call some of the frequencies which i don't like if you have been following me you know that I always like to cut the frequencies which i don't like more than boosting my frequencies you get it yes i like to take the bad things out more than boosting the good ones yes so this is where um you're supposed to understand more making sure that your vocal set properly together with your beat um it comes with your compressor you have just have to know how to use your compressors you get it your compressor or your compressors so that this thing can actually fit properly in your beat you know the eq is to just clean out some frequencies which are not actually working well for us and the um, compressor here is to make sure that our dynamic range are actually perfect and good with us you get it so again staging this with your you know whenever you are compressing you lose a whole lot of volume if you are compressing then you just bring out the gain back if you lose it um, sometimes too if you do record it too loud whereby your vocals are actually louder than your um, beat then you just have to back it down you get it okay so the most important thing over here is um let me play this is i'm going to play it without the compressors and everything and listen to how it sounds with the beat how it sounds with the beat talking about rappers best of all find them i'm a rap title i'm a mother who compared to facts and four in series with the best of all you start with the jt eminem kendrick so automatically you can hear the beat and you can also hear the vocals right so making sure that it sits properly in it but it seems like the uh, beat is overshadowing the vocals a little bit you can actually hear the vocals well yes. yes and you can see that some parts are going down some are coming up so we use the compressor to make sure that we get an even volume by compressing the dynamic range you get it so first compressor that i use is this and make sure know that i'm using mono mono because i've recorded it in mono and this i've not sent it i've not i'm not using it as a group i did not create a group for it whereby i will send this to group it's it's on the uh, track itself which is what mono i'm recording it in mono so every plugin that i'm putting on there is in mono yes not in stereo form and i've explained those things to you if you want to know why we are using mono not stereo you can search on my channel here i have those uh, that video there which i did explain why you shouldn't put stereo plugin on your mono track or mono plugin on your stereo track okay so there's a compressor that i use first so i've activated it let's listen to how it sound with the beat but doubt it so it's like so you can actually hear that those the way it goes down and comes up some volume goes down and some part also brings out brings it out like the compressor is actually correcting all those parts wherever you hear it's very low the compressor will actually compress those low ends and the high ends to get an even volume you get it yes so that this is what we are having now. i brought it around and my peak reduction around 50 yes and my gain around um 40 so that's the only thing that i did over here 41 yes just to make sure that my vocals are actually at an even volume and the beat is not overshadowing it so after this compressor the next compressor that i used was this one to just to balance the volume together with the beat so if i mute this one this what it is happening and if i put this compressor on a listen this guy's so sick oh my god you can see that i'm compressing it more because let me give you this secret the only way you can make sure you'll be set properly with the vocals is that sometimes we always want to um hear the vocals yes that has been our problem now and that's the problem i think uh some guys that i'm teaching them music production have been doing they always want to hear the vocals and they will be just boosting the vocals up so that uh, they can hear and hear the vocal but at the end of the day after boosting the vocals more than um the instrument the beat 
you can actually hear that um the vocals is outside your beat it's not sitting inside the beat because you have actually boosted it thinking that your beat is overshadowing this you can think that it is overshadowed but it's not overshadowed because after exporting and doing everything you can see that it has actually matched very well that's why we use the reverb to create spaces between them if you balance it well you get it so don't be boosting it too much whereby you'll be hearing the vocals more than the beat like this one if i mute this compressor you can hear the vocals more than the beat Let's talk, talking about rappers first of all find the mama rap title i'm a mother who got and if I add this compressor, you can see that some the vocals is actually um inside the beat. Compared to Pat Shako, King Series be the best of all. This is with the JT, Eminem, McKendrick, Sack. Now with the air time, say more. Yeah, so this thing you can actually see that um they actually working together. You can hear whatever is going on in the beat, and you can hear whatever the vocals too is actually telling us. You get it? So make sure that you gain stage it well. That's the only secret. Gain stage it well like, by using your compressors and everything. You got it. If you can't use your compressors, just make sure that you use the volume level here or on your mixer, or you just click in Cubase here. Yes. So that's the trick over there. And the next thing is um my reverb. So to create spaces between them after. This is the reverb that I'm using. Reverb Send, uh, Far uh, Filter Pro R, and um Ping Pong Delay. So this is what I actually do. So this is how it sounds now. Let me your boys in your strike. Pong come in here, but you could be No, be better than a swatch. It's a why. No respect at all. Talking about rappers, first of all. Find the mama rap title. I'm a mother who compared to Pat Shako. King Series be the best of all. This is with the JT, Eminem, Kendrick, Sack. Now with the air time, say more. This guy so sick. Oh my God. Epilepsy rappers who own me the floor. Yeah, so it sound okay and nice. So with the reverb and then this how it sound. Stop four. Find the mama rap title. I'm a mother who compared to Pak Shako. I didn't put too much of reverb because it's a rap and I wanted to hear its dryness more than um a singing or anything. So this how you have to follow these steps and be practicing more. You understand why things aren't working for you and why things are working. So just practice more. Make sure you invest in your equipment and things are going to be okay for you if you like whatever i'm doing a thumbs up to this video comment down there and also um subscribe to this channel please don't just leave thank you for watching it's your boy can see you straight from busy home beat yes and i'm out